Could you give us an overview of HTI-1, the proposed rule and its, its significance to health IT professionals? Sure. Yeah, there are a couple of things in the HTI-1 rule. So the HTI-1 rule is fairly sweeping in terms of covering a lot of different areas. It's not, there are other agencies who have very specific rules. They have lots of rules and big rules and important rules like CMS has its physician payment rule and its hospital payment rule. And each of those are very focused in a particular area. ONC, we're a smaller agency. And then when we do rulemaking, we have it be like an omnibus kind of rule that has a whole bunch of different things in it related to the different kinds of authorities and the different areas that we work. The HTI-1 rule encompasses a number of different things that I think are really important for your listeners and the audience to, to know about. First is there's a set of proposals in there related to the creating transparency regarding the use of AI-enabled tools in electronic health record systems. As many of us now know, you have to be hiding under a rock somewhere to not have heard that AI is here and it's, it's coming at you very fast. And it's certainly entering the healthcare space very rapidly. The department is actually keeping pace with that. I'm happy to report. We've already been doing a lot of work in AI, but the HTI-1 proposed rule actually has a very specific set of regulatory requirements on certified electronic health record vendors, which covers... 96% of hospitals, almost 80% of ambulatory practices that would require that they create transparency about the black box kind of AI tools that are in those electronic health record systems. This isn't accusing the vendors of hiding this stuff. It's just that a lot of these tools are embedded in the systems and the clinician users may not be aware of, of these tools. And as they grow more sweeping in terms of what they're doing, and they become more pervasive and more influential in terms of the types of decision-making that they help to inform. We think it's really important that we lift the veil of that a little bit and provide some information to the customer users. So our proposal isn't about regulating those AIs, uh, AI-enabled tools. It isn't to say, not like FDA approval for, for medical devices, we're not proposing that type of regulation. What we're proposing is that the customers, in this case, like clinicians, for example, ought to just have information about the tools that are in that system so that they themselves can determine whether using that particular tool is in the best interest of their patients. And you know, just like it, they do every day, right? They do that every day with oh. devices and with form with medications and all of that. We're just saying, let's lift that up to that level so that they have that ability to do that.